everybody. Today I wanted to go over how to measure for shoulder abduction angles in a dog. Um, why do we do this? Uh, it's important that we uh, rule out medial shoulder instability if a dog has intermittent uh, weight-bearing lameness, which is kind of chronic in nature. Um, some agility dogs and dogs that do quite a lot of repetitive jumping uh, can be prone to medial shoulder instability. And what that is, is the uh, subscapularis or the medial um, glenohumeral ligament or even the capsule can start to uh, be torn or broken down. And then so the abduction angle in the shoulder starts to increase. The dog starts to lose some instability on the inside of the shoulder. Um, so to measure for it, uh, some people do it in standing. I prefer to do it in uh, sort of lateral recumbency because it's really important that you actually stabilize the scapula. If you don't, then your angles are going to be a little bit skewed. But for normal ranges in a sort of a giant breed dog or a large breed dog, you're kind of looking at about 30 degrees of abduction, uh, 35 to maybe 45 degrees. Uh, you're going to have some mild uh, instability. Uh, 45 to sort of 65 degrees, you're going to have some moderate and above 65 degrees abduction, you're going to have some pretty severe instability in there. Uh, so let's get into measurement. Uh, so with Paige, she's nice and relaxed here. Um, I'm going to take one hand and uh, find the spine of the scapula, trace it down uh, to the a chromium end and I'm just going to sort of fixate that so it's not going to move. With my other hand I'm going to just straighten out her elbow, bring her into a little bit of shoulder extension and then start to abduct. So that's about her range there. Now I'm terrible at eyeballing this. Um, eyeballing measurements has never been my strong point but if I had to guess at it I'd probably say she's at about 30 degrees there. If in doubt, and you're terrible eyeballing like I am, grab yourself a goniometer, this old school thing that us physios used to carry around all the time. Um, it's a little bit awkward, but um, it can be done. It's easier um, if you have two people or you've got one of those electronic goniometers that you just sort of hold on and move and they, they um, do the angle for you. But if you're gonna be using one of these, my one's got quite a big round center axis, which isn't great. Um, but again, find your spinal scapula, try to put the central axis over where the acromion is. Um, get that leg into position in the same plane as the scapula and then fixate the scapula just like you did before. And then you're just gonna abduct the, uh, the front limb up and then uh, have a look at your measurements on your goniometer, get a bit more of an accurate uh, measurement through there. Uh, thanks for watching.